properties of rank very important first property is the rank of every non singular matrix of order n is equal to n if its determinant is non zero the rank of every non singular matrix of order n is n mathematically we can write this symbol rho for rank rank of a is equal to n if and only if determinant of a is not equal to 0 this is first or in terms of eigen value you can write a is invertible a is invertible means non singular if and only if all eigen values are not equal to 0 means all eigen value are distinct and non zero this is important second is the rank of a square matrix the rank of a square matrix e of order n can be less than n can be less than n if and only if its determinant is zero or we can write rank of matrix a and its size if is square and n rod matrix then its rank is less than 1 if and only if determinant of a is zero the rank of matrix m by n can be less than n or m means the rank r of a m by n matrix can at most very important at most equal to the smaller of the numbers m and n m and n but it may be less but it may be less what it means r if this is rank rank of matrix suppose a this is equal to r and this is less than equal to min of mn it may be less than or equal the rank of zero matrix is defined as zero the rank of zero matrix is zero if i is unit matrix then its rank is n if i is unit matrix of size n then rank of identity matrix of or unity matrix is equal to n and remember this point eigen values of identity matrix are all eigen values are 1 because non eigen value is 0 so this is invertible and we study this concept in primary classes or schooling elementary transformation do not 
alter the rank do not alter the rank if a is a square matrix of order m this is sixth if a is a square matrix of order m then m minus rank a is called nullity and this is because size of matrix a is m by m so its rank minus rank plus nullity is equal to m this result hold if you trans transpose m minus eta normally this is nullity this will equal to m means sum of rank and nullity rank and nullity is m or size of the square matrix and this is known as rank nullity theorem the rank of a matrix is same as the number of linearly independent rows vector in the matrix as well as number of the linearly independent column vector in the matrix this is 7 rank of a matrix is same as the number of linearly independent row vectors as well as number of linearly independent columns vector the rank of a matrix a does not change by pre multiplication or post multiplication with any non singular matrix very important result the rank of a matrix a does not change by pre or post multiplication of matrix multiplication of non singular matrix it is very important non singular matrix what it means mathematically you can write rank of suppose this is matrix p a q will equal to rank of a and these p q r non singular this result hold only when matrix are non singular and you can write if you multiply only post so rank of a q will equal to rank of a remember this is non singular if a and b are matrices of same order then rank of sum and rank of multiply means product if a and b are matrices of same size same size it means addition and multiplication will be hold then rank of ab is less than equal to min of rank a comma rank b whatever whatever we rank of a or b and where ab are conformable for multiplication also rank of ab 
will less than equal to rank A and rank of AB is less than equal to rank B. If A theta means conjugate transpose then rank of conjugate transpose is same as rank of A. This is next if A transpose denote transpose of a matrix transpose of A then rank of A transpose is equal to rank of A because rank is somehow related to determinant and we know that determinant of A transpose and A is same and rank of A A transpose is equal to rank of A. If A is conjugate, if A theta is conjugate transpose of A then rank of A conjugate transpose is same as rank A and as I wrote above here rank of A A conjugate transpose is same as rank of A. Combine these two rank of A is equal to rank of A transpose and rank of conjugate transpose and we know that rank of this one means conjugate transpose will equal to rank of conjugate as matrix. Use this one. So this one equal to rank of conjugate. And rank of A A transpose will equal to rank of A transpose A and this is true only in real matrices. Only real matrices. And rank of A conjugate transpose equal to rank of A conjugate transpose A. And this is very important result rank of A next one rank of A is less than equal to min of Mn if size is M by N. Thus, rank of A is less than equal to M or rank of A is less than equal to N. Or you should write end here because which one is less rank will be either less than or equal to. But rank is never exceed the size of the matrix means rank never exceed the size very important next result you can write these this result in one line rank of AB is less than equal to rank of A or min minimum min of rank A comma rank B and we know that rank A is min of Mn. Similarly, if B is matrix N by P, then we should take minimum here. 
because product is well defined number of column is same as number of row of b matrix so this is true and this is greater than equal to rank a plus rank b minus common factor as n is common here so should be subtract n rank of nilpotent matrix rank of nilpotent matrix is always one less index of nilpotent index of nilpotent or nilpotency index of nilpotency minus 1 means rank of nilpotent matrix is always one less by index of nilpotency and rank of involuntary matrix is n because we know that determinant of either 1 or minus 1 so rank of involuntary matrix will equal to n because determinant of involuntary matrix is either 1 or minus 1 now in one line you should write rank of sum is always less than equal to rank individual rank sum and we know that this is less than product and this is less than min of rank a rank b and this is less than equal to min of mn as I explained here this circle so these are some few important properties related to rank and very very important